Burning topic for you. We're talking Hobart football. We're talking about the Hobart Brickies. Uh, don't mess with the Johan. Yeah, don't mess with them. Uh, well, I think a lot of teams messed with the Johan last year. I think so. And they, uh, they got they got messed up in a lot of games. And uh, it flat, honestly, it was, it was embarrassing to watch them in some of these games. And I think it has a lot of people wondering, you know. What does the future hold for this program? Are we ever going to see Hobart return to prominence the way they were back in you know, Don Holloway? What, 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 is, what is the future for this program? Well, I can tell you right now, the future looks very gray. Very gray. Oh, They're going to say, some people are going to be like, well, hey, we made it to the sectional championship last year. We're, on, we're a team on the rise. But yeah, look at the teams you beat to get to the sectional championship. Garbage. You beat garbage. You're just better garbage than they were. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's pretty. Instead of the dirty diaper, you're the freaking banana peel. Um, right now, I mean, it doesn't look good. You don't got the players. You don't got the size for one. You're very small. But uh, a lot of talks I hear this uh, this track star. His name's uh, Jarvis McMillan. I, I, I don't know if he won state or not, but he's he's a world class sprinter. The kid's fast as heck, and we're we're saying, okay, people are saying he is coming out to play football, he's not coming out to play football, but even if he does come, having that much speed on your team can only improve your chances of winning. Well, see, here, here, here's, here's the problem I have, okay? You go back the last three or four years, you know, before last season, I mean, Colbert had a hell of a lot of talent, and they, they didn't win with that talent. You had know, Bobby James and Andrew Jackson and, and Barris, the quarterback, Carwell, the receiver. You had a, you had a ton that was of great guys. That was, that was I mean, team. they were they were stacked, okay? And they still couldn't win a sectional championship. So what? And so, so I mean, that, and that tells me it doesn't matter what. It, it makes me a non-believer in Juan McCormick as a coach. Honestly, I mean, how many times he makes the sectional championship and stuff like that? I mean, it's like you know. They have so they have high expectations almost every year, oh, and, 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 and you know for most part you know and during the regular season I will give him this he is a great regular season coach. I mean he does very well when it comes to regular season, but when it counts in the playoffs, I mean I just don't trust him. A lot of people don't. Honestly, I was moving into that apartment in Holbrook last year. The lady that was showing us the apartment. Um, She's like, oh, and your apartment is right next to the Hobart practice field. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I can lay out my back window and watch Hobart practice. And we said we got on the subject of, you know, Hobart football. She loves Hobart football, goes to all the games. I think her kid even plays for Hobart. Uh, but she cannot stand Wally McCormick. Why? For the reason you just gave me. The guy cannot win a big game. Seems like they always buckle. Buckles under the pressure. That's, and that's the problem. That's that's what makes me think it doesn't matter how much talent they have. I don't ever see them, you know, getting over the hump so long as he's there. He hasn't proven at this point, even with the years that he's had great talent, that he can do anything. With it. So I mean, until until he actually does something and, and gets over the hump, I'm a non-believer that that Hobart is going to, you know, make any drastic changes. They might win a couple more games this year. They might win three to four games in the regular season. That's going to be about it. They're not going to win a uh, higher echelon team in NCC. Forget about that. They're not beating Munster. They're not beating the Bowl. They're probably not going to beat Hobart. They're not going to beat Griffith. So, you can just forget about it. I mean, you know, the glory days are over. So, in other words, you're saying the only way to fix Hobart football is to start over and bring in a new head coach. And I, think I, think, I, think I think they're going to have to. I mean, How long do you give Wally McCormick? Or they decide to go a different route. And bring I mean, I think I should have got rid of that from last season. Because that's, and, that's and, a lie. You have one bad season well, after all those good ones. I mean, what do you want to call it? What, do you, what would you call a good season? Uh, I mean, yeah, he won. He won a lot of games, but but he didn't win any you know meaningful games. And and he, I mean, he had quite possibly the most talent. I mean, 
he had as much talent as most of the five eighties. So. Okay. All right, well, I'm curious to hear your guys' response on this. Once you guys, you know, once you write on our wall here, whatever, who do you guys think would be a good hire, other than you know, to bring in one former? Or do you young. think, or do you think Wally should? Stick or do you around? like Wally? You think he's a good guy? Should he stick he's around? Not a good guy? Should he stick around?